This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Thursday, August 26, 2021. And yesterday I was talking about the Afghanistan, the refugees coming here to the United States, like 150,000 of them. And 10,000 of them are going to be here in New Jersey at the Fort Dix, McGuire, Lakehurst. It's the joint base. They combined them. 10,000 refugees. They're supposedly friendly. We don't know if there's terrorists involved. Maybe not. They're supposedly friendly. They've helped the United States during the whatever. I didn't read into it that much. I've just watched a couple news clips here and there. So they're supposedly friendly. They're probably not terrorists. But out of 150,000 of them coming here, 10,000 here in New Jersey, all you need is five bad ones to sneak in. What could go wrong? You have 10,000 refugees at a military base. Now, I'm sure that's crazy. You're a crazy conspiracy theorist. What are you talking about? Well, let me see. Is this all part of the plan? Did they know about this? This, the joint base in New Jersey, during the pandemic, they converted it into a quarantine hospital. Do you remember that? I guess they did it to a couple other bases across the U.S. I don't know. I just know here because I live here. They did all kinds of work and they were turning it into like a quarantine area. If people got sick, they could go to the military base at Fort Dix, McGuire, Lakehurst. They never used it. But all of a sudden, a couple months later, we need it for all these refugees. What a coincidence. Another coincidence is we're coming up to the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Yes, they're different people and we don't know who's coming through the south of the border. We're letting all the refugees in there, giving them all this stuff. These refugees coming from Afghanistan were giving free medical, free health plan, free dental, all this stuff. We're helping them out. Me, I had a problem with my insurance and disability and my wife's insurance, so they dropped me. Both insurances. I had nothing for, well, I still don't have it. And I live here, and I pay my taxes. But all these people are coming here. It's the anniversary of 9-11 coming up. And you have all these refugees going to be at military bases. With ammo, tanks, guns, you name it. Yes, it's conspiracy, that's crazy. But, 20 years ago, a couple people with box cutters took down four airplanes, two towers, and hit the Pentagon. So we're told. So what could go wrong here with all these? If they're friendly, that's fine. But all he needs is a couple bad apples, and you know, you get that in any group. You know, you get a bunch of lawyers. Well, we'll forget the lawyers. They're all bad. You get doctors, motorcycle people. Doesn't matter who you hang out with, what group you know. There's always one or two bad ones in it. 20 or 30 guys, you get two bad ones. This is 10,000 at a military base. How many people do you think are sneaking in that are going to strap themselves up with something, blow something up? It's just me, but I wanted to put that out to you. And uh, where's the other? They're going to like three or four other bases, I think, Texas. Uh, I just read it too, and now I can't remember. So what are your thoughts on these refugees coming to these different states? Where do you think they're going to go? Do you think they're all friendly? Do you think ISIS is going to get involved in this? I mean, evidently they shot some people yesterday or something, and they had one or two suicide bombers that blew themselves up by the gate or something at the airport. Are any of them going to sneak on a plane? I don't know. All you do is uh, hop on a military plane and crash it into the town or something. I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just something that crossed my mind. I'm like, wow, when we're coming up to 9-11, uh, they're on these planes, they're refugees, they wear things on their head. Not that that's a bad thing, don't, I'm not against that. But somebody else was telling me that they eat different kind of foods than we eat. They don't eat the same meat and, you know, they can't eat processed food. I don't know how much all that's true. I don't know. I don't know much about the culture, so I'm ignorant in that part. So where are they going to put all these people when they release them from the military bases? Where are they going to go? Uh, who's paying the rent? Who's paying for their food? Are they going to have jobs? Because evidently nobody wants to work here. So maybe they'll be the new cab drivers. Maybe they'll be ones working at the stores. Maybe they'll be driving the Amazon and uh, Walmart trucks or something. Just a thought. I just wanted to put that out there to you. And... Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm paranoid or do you think I'm just schizo? This is Piney Prepper Bill, and I saw a rattlesnake coming in, and I'm like, damn, was that a rattlesnake? And then I saw a sign that said, Timbler Rattlers or something, as I was driving in. nice and a couple years ago I went to go in the water not far from here and I was going in and somebody said are there snakes in here I said no I don't think so and we looked up and there was a giant snake hanging from a tree like right by your head that was fun so this is Piney Prepper Bill and I'll talk to you later bye bye